I am really excited about today's video. I'm sure you have seen the title and thumbnail. I have been wanting to review this since I received it, but you know what I typically like to do? I like to test skincare for a good length of time before I review it and share my thoughts and opinions. So I'm gonna be talking about The Ordinary's newest serum. This is the Soothing and Barrier Support Serum, and I had no idea that they were launching another product this year. Like they came out with six new ones at the beginning of 23, which of course I have reviewed. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it below for you. But I thought that was it. I didn't think that we were going to see anything else from The Ordinary until maybe next year. But here we are, we have a new formulation and I can't wait to talk about this. So we're gonna be talking about the ingredients, who can benefit, how you can use it, what ingredients you should not mix with it. Let's talk about price point and of course my thoughts and experience with it. So I've used this every day, twice a day since I've received it. And have you seen this serum yet? Like have you seen the color of it? It's literally pink. And I just think that is so fun I just love stuff like this. I used to think that the copper peptides was fun because it was blue in color. This is even more fun. But of course, there is more to the color, so let's talk about that. And this product is going to be linked below for you for your reference. So let's get into the video. All right, so like I said, this is the new Soothing and Barrier Support Serum. Now, every time I wanna say the name of this serum, I keep forgetting to say the word soothing. I keep going to Barrier Support Serum. I don't know, I, I just keep forgetting to say soothing. So the name of this is a little lengthy, but it is a good name for what this does. And this is a multi-active formulation that is going to target redness, sensitivities, irritation, but also dryness as well. So this is basically your serum to repair and strengthen your skin barrier, to add hydration and to reduce on rosiness. So perfect for sensitive skin, right? If you have sensitive skin all the time, or maybe you just have sensitive skin once in a while, depending on, let's say, the environment, is it the winter, is it the summer, maybe it's skincare products you're using, then of course this would be a great serum to have in your collection. Now, you know how much I love the Neod Modulating Glucosides. I actually don't have one with me here. It's actually somewhere in my linen closet. I haven't had to reach for it yet, but if you've been with me for a while, you know how much I love that serum. And that serum is also a serum for the skin barrier to strengthen it, to hydrate, and to really help nourish and repair it. This is pretty much the exact same. Now, of course, they are different a little bit in terms of ingredients. The price point is also different. This is about $9 cheaper. So this retails at $25 Canadian, and the modulating glucosides is, I believe, $35 Canadian, something like that but very similar, and they both have the same scent as well. So there's no fragrance, there's no perfume in here, it's just the ingredients that you're smelling, but this has the exact same scent as modulating glucosides. This one is also creamy, which the modulating glucosides is as well, so with the Neod one, it's a beigey, yellowy, tinge of a color. This one of course is pink, which is really fun, but very, very similar. So if you're a big fan of the modulating glucosides, perhaps you're going to love this one as well because again, they're very similar in what they do. So let's talk about the ingredients here. So this has vitamin B12. So this ingredient is going to help with dryness, but also to reduce the look of redness. And the pink hue that this serum has, it's coming from the vitamin B12 ingredient, just so you know. This this also has a 2% niacinamide, which is great to hydrate and even out the skin tone. There is Santella Asiatica in here, rapeseed sterols, there's also ceramides, and there's gallic acid. And gallic acid is another ingredient to help reduce the look of redness. So there are many ingredients in here to reduce redness, but also to hydrate, nourish, repair, and strengthen the skin barrier. So perfect for all skin types, including sensitive skin. Now this can be be used every day, twice a day, or of course when you need it. This is great for those that are using a lot of active ingredients. So maybe you're using tretinoin, 
lactic acid, glycolic acid, maybe you're doing microneedling, you're getting in-office treatments, and your skin is feeling tight and dry and irritated, this would be great to use post-treatments or in combination with your tretinoin and your actives. So when I was testing this out, I was using this with tretinoin and my prescription azelaic acid in my evening skincare routine. So of course I use this before my tretinoin and my azelaic acid. So always use this after your water-based serums. So after, let's say an essence, a toner, maybe hyaluronic acid, or maybe the amino acids plus B5. Use those first, then go in with this because it's a little bit thicker, then go in with your cream-based products afterwards. I was using this with copper peptides in my morning routine. I was also using this with regular peptide serums. I was testing this out with pretty much all of the sunscreens that I'm loving at the moment and with my makeup and this layered up so nicely with everything. Not once did I experience pilling with any issues of layering, everything just meshed well with it and I was really pleased with that. Now when it comes to ingredient conflicts, The Ordinary doesn't recommend for you to pair this up with vitamin C and that includes pure forms of vitamin C like L-ascorbic acid or ascorbic acid and even vitamin C derivatives. So if you use vitamin C in your everyday routine and let's say you're using it in your morning routine, then you can use this in the same day, just keep this for your nighttime routine. So don't don't pair this up with your vitamin C as you want to keep them separate. And I was actually very surprised that vitamin C was the only ingredient that you shouldn't pair this up with because usually with copper peptides, for example, there are many things that you can't use with copper peptides. So it was nice to see that I was able to pair this up with copper peptides because I use that almost on an everyday basis. And it was nice to see that we could use this with retinol and with other active ingredients ingredients because of course with those products we do experience the dryness, irritation, redness. So it's nice to see that we can pair this up with those to help eliminate some of that irritation that can happen a few days later. So overall, I am very pleased with this serum. I'm really happy that The Ordinary came out with something similar to the Neod Modulating Glucosides. Of course, this is very similar, but also a little different still, but the price point here is more affordable. I really don't have anything negative to say about this, other than yes, it'd be nice to see this serum a little bit cheaper than what it's at, but in general, there really isn't anything negative about this. It hydrates, it repairs, it keeps my skin nice and comfortable, I have a beautiful glow, and it really does help to reduce on rosiness. And it does what it says it's supposed to do, at least from my experience anyways. So I really do recommend this. I think that this is a great option to incorporate, especially now that the fall and winter months are approaching. I will come back at a later time and give you another comparison and review it completely with the Neod Modulating Glucosides. If you'd be interested in that video, let me know in the comments below and of course I can film that. But I would like to see how this actually performs when my skin is at its angriest. Because with the Neod Modulating Glucosides, honestly, that is one of the only serums that gives my skin instant relief when my skin has that itch and that burning sensation. So it would be nice to see how this one compares when my skin is in that state. So again, if you want to see that video, please let me know in the comments below. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask away in that comment section as well. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you found it helpful. Of course, I will leave this below for you for your reference. If you would like to see The Ordinary's six new launches that they came out with at the beginning of the year, I will also leave that video below for you as well. Also, I should mention, oh my gosh, I almost forgot. You know how much I love The Ordinary Amino Acids Plus B5, especially if you've been with me for a while. That's a great hydrating serum, very different from this, but when I was testing this, I was pairing it up with the Amino Acids Plus B5, and that pairing was exceptional for hydration. So if you have dryness or you're looking for something to be very hydrating on your skin for the fall winter months, try pairing this up with the Amino Acids. And then come back and let me know how you like it because honestly, that pairing was amazing. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in the next video. Take care and I will see you all then. Bye guys.